I want to see if I can run everything on this flash drive. I made this flash drive a couple of videos ago. I put two eMMC chips in this flash drive, technically built from scratch, but yeah, give or take. I know most computers nowadays run off of an SSD or a hard drive, and in some instances, eMMC storage. Now, this is technically two eMMCs, and it's also in conjunction with USB 3.0. So I was debating whether or not should I try to install Windows to this thing, or should I try to install SteamOS? Hmm. How how about we try both? Both. Both is good. And now for the PC. This video is sponsored by Geekcom. Geekcom reached out to me and I told them what I was doing with this flash drive and they said they had a tiny PC that they would be willing to send me out for this project. On the front of this thing, we have two USB 3.0 ports, headphone jack, power button. On this side, we have a full SD card slot. On the back, we have the power jack, HDMI ports, USB-C, USB 3, USB 2.0, and 2.5 gig ethernet. Now, because I want full transparency with this project, we have to remove the SSD inside this machine. Screwdriver tongue. Perfect. Take out the four screws in the bottom of the Geekcom. I love how it's called Geekcom because it's literally, for me, the geek. Okay, now that it's open. So this thing is the Mini IT12. It has a core i5-1200K, 16 gigs of DDR4, and a 512 gig M.2 drive. Looks like we have a spot for a full M.2, and then we can put in maybe, uh, what is it, 2242, something like that. All right, let's take out this M.2. Oh, also this ribbon cable, it's for slotting in a 2.5 inch hard drive or SSD, which is fantastic. So let's get the screws in. All right, now before we do anything with the Geekcom, we have to set up flash drive. And I also don't know if it's possible to just install Windows directly to this thing. So there's another flash drive. Let's install Windows to this and then we'll install it on that. All right, let's plug in power, plug in the HDMI cable, our Windows install media, and let's hold the power button down. Maybe we'll hear a fan come on or see some lights. Oh, oh, okay. I feel the fan. See some lights on here. Let's check the HDMI. Is it booting? Wait for it. Oh, it loading Windows. Okay. Is it loading Windows? Yes, we have success. Geekcom, let's go. All right, cool. It looks like it's rolling Windows. This thing looks actually wild. Really freaking cool for a tiny little computer. All right, perfect. Okay, let's install Windows. Install. Setting it on. Can we install Windows to a one terabyte flash drive? Oh no, it doesn't see our drive. Oh, that sucks. Okay, how do we install it? All right, let me do some research. Okay, so I decided to download Macrium Reflect for free, and we're going to just try to clone our disk that's a one terabyte in size and we're going to clone it over to the flash drive potentially can we clone it select the disk or select the flash drive flash drive selected copy that copy that and i don't know copy this i have no idea what this is oh this is my linux partition so we should be good yeah we're just we're just copying windows uh yeah let's just next finish and run this back up now all right yes i confirm so now we were cloning the flash drive let's see if this works <laughs> Clone failed. Okay, maybe it was because I was moving the flash drive all around. Let's try to start that again. Let's reopen the software. Okay, so I started the process and it is working. So hopefully this will work. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I think I got it. I think I finally got Windows to install to this thing. No, not not, not to the computer. To the flash drive. It's booting. It's booting, I think. I, I can't confirm nor deny, but I think it's booting. I think we finally got it, dude. Come on, let's do this. If this works, man, we did something awesome today. So yeah, this was the Windows install media, and this is our computer booting from the flash drive, and the OS Windows <laughs> Windows installed to this. Well, we couldn't get Windows to install to it. We had to install Windows on my main computer. Then we had to clone that drive over to this one. <laughs> Windows is getting ready. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, restarted again. Did some updates, did some things. You can see the flash drive flickering in the reflection of the monitor. This might be it, fam. Come on. Oh, I hope it doesn't just boot loop like this. We're just working on updates constantly. Oh, come on, dude. Dude, it's it's booting. It's booting. Oh my gosh. Wow. This man. Okay, so I got the keyboard. I cannot believe that this PC is booting. It worked. It freaking worked. It cloned and it's actually working. Okay, okay. Let's uh, check some things. Right, so <laughs> the disk is at 100% usage. It's like, I can't handle this. Okay, let's see here. So we're rocking with a i5-12450H. We have 16 gigs of RAM 
and the disc is running at 100 <laughs> percent oh my gosh okay so now it's it's kind of uh bogged down yeah it's not great <laughs> okay so people told me they wanted me to try a program but do we have internet does this not have wi-fi this doesn't have wi-fi okay i need ethernet okay plugging in an ethernet in three two one Here we go Ethernet is plugged in. Oh, by the way, this computer running slow like this, it probably just doesn't have the drivers because we just cloned from my other computer. Yeah, they, we're not gonna have, we're gonna have to have drivers. We need drivers. Okay, back to my other computer. Bruh, <laughs> this thing is actually crazy. All right, I got Ethernet drivers installed. Let's try to turn this thing on again. And we see the light coming on. Perfect, it's booting. It's getting USB from both ends. It's booting Windows. Hopefully it's not booting from the other flash drive. No, I don't think it is. Uh. So let's quickly unplug this. I'm going to make sure that this flash drive that has a Windows install on it is not plugged in. Let's plug it back in and we'll turn it on. Turning on. Okay. Geekcom. It's booting. Do we see Windows? Loading. It's loading. I can't wait to see what this thing can do now that all the drivers are installed. Please wait. Oh, I'm waiting. Trust me. I am waiting. Dude, can you believe that this thing is legit booting off of a flash drive? And it's its main C drive. This is insane. Hold on. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. And we're at the desktop. Oh, and I forgot I installed Steam. We have Ethernet working. Once this boots up, <laughs> Steam's updating and everything's kind of frozen. Except my mouse. I can move my mouse and I can move. Oh, oh something froze. Oh, no, nope, it's back. Oh, man, dude. Control Alt Delete is not going to work. This, this is like as slow as an IDE drive from like, you know, Windows XP or something. Oh, Task Manager. Oh, and Ethernet decided to finally load. I want to see performance. Can we see performance? My question is can we even install games on this thing? Task Manager not responding. This is not going to work for us, man. Oh, here we go. So we can see that it's not a problem with the computer because we're not using that much CPU or really that much memory either. Ethernet's freaking going, man. But our disk, our disk, man, it is uh, it is maxed out. 120 megabytes. It's like, it's trying, man. It's trying. And it's uh, <laughs> not running this well. I don't think it's a problem with the Geekcom itself because this thing is super OP, but we're limited by our flash drive. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, we're installing Steam still. Oh, is this thing going to work? That's the question. Okay. Looks like I made some progress here. So the Geekcom is working. We have Ethernet working. We have HDMI. We have power, of course. And we have our C drive as well as my USB hub for my keyboard. Okay. Let's uh, take a look and see where we're at. Oh, oh, oh. Steam is working. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign into Steam and we'll try to download some games. Yes. Okay. Things are working. Let's try this game. This is one of my favorite games of all time. And I can only imagine it should technically be able to run on this computer. Let's see here. Device manager. Let's just double check. Oh, Microsoft Basic Adapter. So maybe I don't have the drivers installed for the GPU that's like integrated into the thing. And yeah, that's probably the reason why it looks like that. But let me see what I can do. Maybe, maybe I can reinstall the chipset drivers. Let's just try. I mean, what else is there? What else can we do? You know, install the chipset drivers, install. And also let's make sure that Steam does not launch on startup. Yeah, it doesn't. All right, well, we should be good then. And hopefully this will just work. Yeah, you can see the read speed. You can see the write speed going down here for the drive. And you can see that it's being used a uh, hundred percent of the time. And is the drive physically hot? Yeah, it's hot. Um, all right, let's restart now. Yeah, to be honest, this drive is hot. I think what we'll do for the next video is maybe we'll take this thing and we'll put some heat sinks and a fan on it. In fact, last time I was at Micro Center, I bought a fan that has a heat sink attached to it. So yeah, man, I think that's going to be our next video. If this thing continues to work and not die. <laughs> All right. Finally installed the graphics drivers and it's working. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. I'm going to leave this right there. Let's launch Steam. Now, if you don't know, this is Call of Duty World of War. It is a very old game and it's one of my favorite games of all time. We have nine gigs of space that we need to install this. So yes, we're going to install to the C drive. Install now. 30% complete. Wait, what? How did it? Did it already? Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh yeah. Oh, it's down downloading. It's doing its thing. Hang on. Let's bring this guy up. Oh yeah. We're writing data. It's going, man. It's going as fast as it humanly possibly can. All right. I'm going to let this just do its thing and then we'll go from there. All right. So let's close this out. Uh, the drive is, is doing well. Graphics are installed. Intel UHD graphics. Let's go. Okay. So the chipset driver obviously fixed it because this is working great. Okay. Let's launch Call of Duty World at War. Yes. Oh, I have to download 
download and install these too. Oh, come on. More files I have to download. I forgot about these. Well, this game is like 15 years old. So, I mean, it's expected that it's gonna, gonna do things. Oh, Punk Buster Service. This was, uh, if you're cheating on Call of Duty World at War, I forgot about this. But obviously the online servers aren't here anymore, but you have to download this because if you don't, the game kind of doesn't, it does work, but yeah. <gasps> it's working. Hold on, wait, it's launching. It's launching, question mark. I see things, I see things. Yes, let's go. Okay, oh, it just crashed or something. It just crashed. Why did it crash? Oh, is it still downloading files? Hold on, let's see if we can go back into the game. Wait, okay, here we go. Yeah, we just want to cancel. Let's just try to get into a zombie game. All right, Nazi zombies. Uh, Which one should we pick? The most graphic intense one? Yes, Doris. Let's go. It's loading. It's loading. Come on. Let's go. We're in game. Can we play? Oh, dude, it's a little choppy, but that is expected because there's obviously no GPU. And I'm playing on this keyboard lap mouse sort of thing, but it's working. It's working. Okay, let's get back into it. Mission select. Doris. Heck yeah, man. It's working. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> yes, dude. We are gaming on a flash drive PC. We're gaming on a mini PC and it's running it perfect. I mean, this is this is fantastic. Obviously, we have some frame drops in here, but that's fine. This is fine. This is acceptable. I could I could greatly still play this game and actually have a fun time. Honestly, it's been a while since I played Nazi Zombies and this is definitely my favorite game of all time. Oh, I got to run. I gotta run. Okay. Okay, so here's a conclusion. Making your C drive a USB drive. Yes, it works uh, as long as it's fast. And two, as long as you have graphics drivers installed, then you are good to go. As you can see, the Geekcom handled this very well. And I wanna thank Geekcom for sending this out. They were amazing. And this little mini PC can play World of War. I'm probably gonna be using this into the future. Dude, this little thing is really cool. Next thing on my list for this flash drive, adding a fan to it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully this doesn't break.